We're here with Glenn Prisbilski and Greg Seelinger, winners of the 8th CDGA Senior Amateur Four Ball Championship at Elgin Country Club. Guys, what are your initial thoughts on the win? Yeah, it feels good. It was a, it was a, uh, a long run, um, grueling uh, first couple days, but um, it, it paid off in the end. Yeah, a nice accomplishment, uh, especially with the teams. Uh, there was numerous really good teams based on reputation, so we knew it was, it was going to be a tough week. Had to play really well, uh, no real easy matches, and uh, it's, it's just fortunate that we're here. I believe this was your guys' first time playing together in this particular event, so how did the pairing come together, and what about each of your games, each of your personalities suits each other well and allowed you to be successful? Go ahead. That, no, that's a funny story. I think we... Um, we didn't really play with each other a lot, but uh, last year in the state am and the senior am, we were paired together. The, the, you know, the last day, and it was a, you know a good match, and we just started talking, and from there we um, decided that we'll be uh, playing some team events this year. So this is like the third one, and it's been going well. Yeah. So we had played like uh, Greg was saying in the senior, and I just knew Greg from a couple of years back, and I seen his game elevate. And what I really appreciate and like about him is he's a grinder. He works. He practices, which is what I do. I mean, he just loves the game, wants to get better. And I think we, we complement each other based off of that. Honing in on today's match, you know, you start out with a one-up lead thanks to an eagle on the first hole, uh, another eagle on the 10th hole, and then, you know, you're able to pull away there at the end for the 4-3 and three victory. So just take us through how the match progressed from your perspective, what some key moments were, and what ultimately allowed you to come out on top. Yeah, I think the good start, um, uh, the fact that my birdie didn't count is a good thing. So um, a hot start, you know, helps us, you know, get going because we were really tired from yesterday. It was, uh, you know, a long day. And so um, after that, there was, um, once we got uh, a couple up, we were, felt more comfortable and I think swinging a little bit more freely. And Glenn, Glenn played really well today. He made uh, lots of key shots that made it a little bit easier. Um, you know, to, to score. Yeah, I think our, our key was to have, try to get at least hit two balls on the green. And through the first several matches, we didn't do that that well. And one would pick up the other. And so that was kind of the key. Try to hit more greens, try to have two balls on the green putting for birdie. And because you can't really take anything for granted. These guys obviously were good players. They, they were in the finals. We knew that you're not going to really win holes with bogeys. You got to make birdies or eagles or whatever. And uh, luckily, we, we got some nice breaks and made some good shots and came out on top. Yeah, Glenn, for you specifically, take me through that those first and uh, number one and number ten when you had the eagles. What what kind of led you? Uh, to post that the first one is on, on one because on two of the days, basically had lost drives. Never found my drive on both sides. So I'm like, just put it in play. So I had, a, I had a nice number, hit a nice little nine iron off of that downhill lie and uh, a nice uphill putt. And then on uh, 10, uh, just put it in the front of the green based on my drive was a little, I had to maneuver around some trees. And uh, the chip was a little aggressive, luckily it was in the center and, and, and went in. So I kind of felt that maybe it was gonna be our day. We're getting some, some breaks there. You mentioned earlier, you know, uh, kind of unthroning some of the past champions. Uh, obviously, uh, Tim Shepard and Tom Kierfot have won the event four times and only two other pairs uh, before you guys have won the event. So what does it say about the magnitude of the accomplishment to not only win an event, but, you know, win an event that has been traditionally kind of dominated by, uh, you know, one or two teams? I just think uh, the, the seniors that are coming up now, the guys like uh, Mike Stone, uh, Mike uh, Henry, Mike Wait. Henry, sorry. I mean, these guys are just turning 55, 56, 57 that were very accomplished, very good players. And now they're going to be all in the mix year after year. And, and also, I think this was a great venue. They had it. It was a real treat to, to play it up here. And I think that attracted some, some really good teams. You know, Mark Small, very good player there. So there's just a lot of good teams that uh, to win this this one time, I'm, I'm extremely happy because you don't know if you're going to get another chance. Yeah, I would agree. I'm kind of new to the senior, you know, uh, scene and actually tournament golf. I didn't play that much um, when I was younger, like these these guys did. So Glenn knows all these people, and he, you know, we knew it was a tough field, and um, every match was tough. Which you know, we by just getting through it, um, 
and really not giving up, it just made us stronger and stronger to, and to the end because you, you never know what happens. And, and that's one thing that I pulled out here. I see a lot of, of players that just keep playing and they you know, can make pars or birdies from anywhere. And when you see that, you just you, you, you want to do it. And so we're able to do it and that was good.